Hey guys, Firefly Stratton here. I'm here with Bob. Um, Yo. We have something we need to address. No, we're not coming out of the closet. No, this is not about... Not yet anyways. Not yet anyways, of course. This is about... Um, <clears throat> excuse are, are me. Are we just going to talk about the one topic or are we going to talk about other topics as well? Well, we'll see what happens. This is about the um, whole PewDiePie debacle. Now... If you're not filled in, I... Ah, uh, sorry, my, my thing's back, coming back into you, isn't it? Um... I'll push the talk. If, if you're not filled in, then I will, um... I'll put a snippet of a Keemstar video or something, if I can get my... my... <laughs> Look, he's, he does a good job at explaining it. But, yeah. um, if I can get my video editor working out, I'll put a little snippet of a Keemstar video, and he's he's explaining it and stuff like that. PewDiePie recently was dropped from Maker Studios, which is owned by Disney. The Wall Street Journal came out with an article, Disney severs ties with YouTube star PewDiePie after anti-Semitic posts. Talking about the video on January 11th where PewDiePie, as a joke, wanted to see what people on Fiverr would do for five bucks. Uh, <laughs> um, but, long story short, PewDiePie made a, um, a, a video where he went onto the website called Fiverr, and what Fiverr does is, um, or what Fiverr is for, and they do shit for, yeah, them. basically you, you can pay someone $5 and they'll do something for you. And, and one of the things he wanted people to do, let me mute my phone here, is... Um, I should do that as well, because I am not smart. He wanted to, uh, he wanted pe two people, or, well, just one person, to hold up a sign that said, Death to all Jews. <laughs> and so... <clears throat> Fortunately, we're not in a network, so uh, yeah, we won't get sued. Yeah, exactly. We won't. Yes, we're. Yeah, that. But Four. give us five bucks. <laughs> give us five bucks. You know, five dollars is five dollars. No, seriously though. Yes, and right. yeah. So there's this is a problem, right? This is this is a very big problem, and um, Bob and I both can see. Uh, Disney, whom is who is the owner of or who uh, run or no, they purchased um, PewDiePie or Felix's um, studio, his his uh, multi-channel network. I think it is. Uh, I, and I honestly have no. Well, because I think he still owns it, but just he collaborates with Disney or something like that. Well, no, Disney owns Disney owns it. Oh wow! And that's why that's why there was so much talk about Disney, um, and since Disney owns it, and since they have to hold a, uh, I mean, when you think of Disney, you think of a child-friendly Pocahontas. Not really Pocahontas. The story of Pocahontas was horrible. Except when you look down at the details, that ruins your childhood. Yeah, exactly. But that's that's for <laughs> later on in your life. But. And they're also a business, and I can see it from both sides. I can see it from Disney's business side, but I can also see it from YouTube's community side. Where, oh, the, <clears throat> it was just in good fun, it was satire, blah, blah, blah. I can see that part, and I, I get jokes like that. I'm not offended by jokes like that, but... I, I I, I, yeah, sure. So, yeah, he did, he did I, he, no doubt, he did that up as a joke, but he set it up completely wrong. I, I, he fucked up the joke. Basically, anyone looking from the outside wouldn't have understood it, and that's where I see the news point of view in Disney's, and like, cause they they didn't, cause Felix, it's a bit of his fault at, on his part for failing to set up the joke, but it's kind of a, a bit of the news fault for blowing it out of proportion. Yeah, they Which they it was out of context. They've been doing a lot of that. Yeah, it was out of context, and that's where that's where the media is wrong. And that's why people are so mad about it, you know. And what's even worse, I know it sounds ridiculous, but um, J.K. Rowling, yes, you heard it right, the author of the Harry Potter books, has gotten herself into this whole mess of a situation. Calling PewDiePie fascist, calling him uh, uh, anti-Semi, calling him... I, I think she's gone on to say things like uh 
I, I don't remember everything, but she just spouts off a whole bunch of false BS. And, I mean, there was someone who, uh, who made a, who made a roast, right? She, she was spouting off false rumors. And, um, the guy's like, hey, you're pretty good at making stories. You should be an author. <laughs> 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 it's, a, it's a bit of a burn. I, well, one thing I do find a bit uh, hypocritical, because uh, you know how the, the Washington Post, they took up the story almost immediately. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, d did a bit of, a bit of research. Uh, one, of their, one of their guys tweets a, a bunch of, like, uh, he, he does, like, Nazi joking stuff as well. And yet he <clears throat> doesn't get flack for it so much. That was actually was that? I'm that was me covering my mic and clearing my throat. It didn't really work out. Um Okay. And it's funny you mentioned that because the guy who made that you're talking about is actually one of the writers of all the articles. Yeah. And Yeah, I know. And it's all it double standard much, yeah. my friend. Like I said, if I can get my video editor to work again, I'll flash these tweets he's talking about, stuff like that. I want I want this video to look as professional as possible. I'm probably going to spend hours editing it. But only to have your heart ripped out in the comments. Yeah, basically. Um, <laughs> Saying how we're wrong. No doubt, we're going to get some facts wrong. I, I didn't even... I was lazy and I didn't type up uh, anything before this, so I'm just going with what's on the top of my head. Yeah, it's... And it's sad that this is what YouTube... Like, okay, here's the thing. I can see, Like I've said, I can see why the media and why... J.K. Rowling, for example, are so opposed to it. Well, I mean, the, yeah, they don't get the. Well, I mean, first of all, they don't. They didn't get like the full context. It's not even that. Yeah. It's so you know, from an outside perspective, you'd think he's a fucking fascist. Exactly. And the thing is, if okay, <clears throat> so if you go and look at PewDiePie's subscriber rate right now, I think it's uh, okay, it will be over. Yeah, I'll flash it. It'll be... Right now, it's almost 54 million. Yeah. Uh, maybe just around 53.5. It'll be over 53 million subscribers. Million with an M. And most of them are, are, are dead accounts. Probably. But, now, if you think of it, it, it... Bob, you're the politically correct person in this situation. I, how... Just off the top of your head... If he were to make an army of 53 million people, how many small countries would he be able to take over with 53 million people? Million! Oh, uh, fuck. Uh, He's, uh, what I'm trying to say... Do you, to, do you want the reserve numbers as well? No, no. That? What I'm trying to say is PewDiePie uh, his has... Country, his country would rank pretty fucking high if he was an actual country. Exactly. And what I'm trying uh, to say, what I'm trying to say uh, with this is... With fifth, over 53 million subscribers, he has more subscribers than some countries have in their mi er, uh, 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 men and, and, and women in their military. Well, not just in their military, but their whole population. In their whole population. For God's sake, there's some religions that have only 8, 9, 10 million people in it. When this, this Swedish kid who likes screaming at video games and... Calling golden statues Stefano has 53 million people following him. Like, okay, uh, I, ju I just looked it up. He has no way. That's 2016. He has more cut. More pe He would be bigger than the. Uh, as of July 1st, 2016, he would be just bigger than South Korea. Just bigger than South Korea. And they're pretty fucking big. Like the and, 27th largest. And the reason I'm spouting off all these numbers is not because I'm jealous of him or not because I I, I, I envy him. Kind of jealousy. It, not because I envy him or any of this. It's because he has so much influence in the world and so much influence in everything that goes on in his community. And when it comes to a situation like this, people from the outside, as Bob was talking, could think, oh, this anti semite or anti semite whatever the correct word is, anti semi fascist has 53 million people he's trying to convert to fascism and Nazism. Which are completely two different things, might I add. Hitler was actually against fascism. 
He hated it. You might get some flack in the comments from that. Well, you know. Along with communism. Describe them as fascists because they're, they're the similarities are parallel. Yeah, I know, but it's just the reason I want to talk about. I wanted to talk about this today, is because of the irrational articles and the just over the top things that people have been talking about him, and sure, I'm some measly kid with over forty or like. At 40 subscribers sitting on the internet with his his buddy praying to God that I don't fail a test tomorrow or something. That's that's just. Then I'm some dumbass who sleeps through science class and aces the test. Yeah, exactly, and <laughs> that's why me and Bob have such a unique friendship, you know. But <laughs> yeah, <nerf. laughs> it's when okay. So when I was first. I've been following this story the entire time. When I first heard about it, and ever, th or all the way through. And some people, for Ke uh, Keemstar, for example, is ridiculing and, and, and just like, oh, that was bad. Wagging his finger to people like Jack Septicai. And, um. Well, I mean, I, I also, I get like, j why Jack Septicai kind of distanced himself from, from uh, PewDiePie. Because that, well, considering like the me the media fucking backlash, like I w I would do the fucking same if I was in in his, in his shoes. I would be backing the fuck off. Here's the thing, I like I agree with you. I agree with you a hundred and ten percent. But the reason Keemstar is so ticked off about this, and people like Keemstar and of Keemstar's caliber, uh, <clears throat> the reason they're so mad at it is because Jack Septicai would not be Jack Septicai without PewDiePie. Jack Septicai would be a green-haired Irish kid who screams top of the morning to you laddies every day to 30 subscribers rather than what, what is it 9 10 11 million now? And I'm sorry but alliances have to change. Nothing exactly. Is set in stone. Exactly. I mean do, do, do you think fucking Amer oh, well I mean they still have allegiance to is to, to France, but I, uh, France, they aren't, um, I don't think they're America's top ally anymore. They, I, during the revolution they used to be, but time to change. Yeah. And, and fuck, I don't even know who America's <clears throat> top ally is. I think, I think, it, I know it's the European guys as a whole, but not France itself. Uh, the point is, is France used to be our biggest friend. Now they're in a group, of, they're still one of our friends, n no doubt. But well, the times have changed, and we have different allies to to think to think of that. Yeah, and it's just I don't know. So I was gonna sorry say if I, put, if I do too many political analogies, but it's fine. This, this lines up with a lot. I was gonna say something, but I forgot. Um. So, oh, that's right. So, here's the thing: a lot of people. When after I say this, a lot of people, if if this does find or if a lot of people do find this, a lot of people are going to be telling me after I say what I'm about to say, oh, he doesn't, or Jack doesn't do it for the money. But here's the thing. Now I go on to say what I'm, I was talking about. Here's the thing. The reason Jack said, oh, hey, what he did is idiotic and not smart and all that, and I can, I, I can quote him if you'd like, um, is, Gosh, beca <laughs> is because... Is uh, because... Because Jack, this is Jack's business. This is, uh, YouTube is a lot of people's business. No matter how many times they'll say, I don't do it for the money. If they don't have a job and they monetize their videos, they are doing it for the money. Without a sliver of a doubt. If they weren't doing it for the money, they'd be bums. I mean, the money is a nice side, but... Now, if you have a separate job, for example, Keemstar. Keemstar, I, I, I hate to continue going back to Keemstar. I apologize. Yeah, I, I, but, I abhor him as well. Um, Keemstar, for example, doesn't – he has no, uh, no reason to uh, get money from YouTube. And that's, that's because he's a millionaire because of what he did after YouTube. If you want to know why, go watch one of Michael McCrudden's videos. It's probably half wrong. Um, <laughs> you should watch some of those, Bob. They're kind of stupid. They did one on Jev, and it's horrible. Um, oh. but it's just, 
this is people's business and and in in a business situation with something when something like this happens they need to save their butts and if they don't save their butts they're going to lose big time and that is why disney did what they did people may people may say oh disney shouldn't have done that they they should be they should um uh grow to what's okay nowadays and a lot of sure a lot of people will say it's getting two people to pose with the sign that says death to old jews um for five dollars sure that could be bad according to today's society but if you're it, it's just i don't know i i'm rambling yeah i mean uh there were, there were there are a lot of people that are wrong in this situation i mean i i fuck i don't remember what video specifically it is but uh, a comedian he structured a, a joke about rape and well a lot of people though it admittedly it was about rape he man he man he structured the joke to so it really people really couldn't take out at take it out of context so i can see why pewdiepie is at fault here but also a lot of other people are at fault as well and just the shit storm came in yeah it's just it sucks and that's this is it's reasons like this that is why i've told you multiple times that if i ever do start back trying to be serious with stuff like this because youtube at the moment is just a hobby for me i i have more important things to attend to such as work such as school such as graduating for example yeah i mean like like gaming is my fucking hobby and like fuck, i stick a recorder on i have fun if the game just lags out and i can't play it fuck the recorder i'll play the game without the recorder exactly and but that's why i've told you multiple times i if i do come back i'm going to do streaming and i'll just post you know live stream highlights like someone like gold glove or um soda poppin does you know mm. but I mean, plus, it, it, it helps me, it does help me a bit with my communication skills, which I, I do like that about the YouTube. Yeah. But it's just, YouTube, YouTube in general right now is just going down the crap, or we're having a civil war because there's 53 million people who was on one guy's side, and the rest of us are maybe not. But, um... First world, the first YouTube war has begun. Yeah. Uh, Bob, uh, would you like to conclude with anything? Uh, can I, uh, not, not much is that, but that, just that Felix should, if using, using, re, uh, hindsight, my 2020 hindsight, uh, PewDiePie should have structured the joke a lot better. Like, but as a, as a comedian, he should have known how to make a joke. Yeah, and that's, he's that's, gotten that's, himself... That's where I give him a bit of flack for that, but I also <clears throat> defend him in saying, uh... Well, I mean, he he does do it for the comedy. So, uh, I, comedy, like, you're not going to resonate with everyone. And this is one joke, even though it was a, a bad joke, it did not resonate well. And not not everyone can tell a joke and it'll resonate. I, hell, I tell jokes at our table that don't resonate well. Yeah. But, anyways, that's, that's all I've got. I mean... If if you've got something to say that you want me to me or uh, Bob or myself to know, then please feel free to comment. Um, I'm gonna take extra time editing and and making this video look as good as I can because this is a serious topic. This is something that I I've been. Even though we did crack jokes. I mean, yeah, yeah. but that's <laughs> what we do. We're horrible people. But oh, yeah, no shit. Well, I'm not gonna <laughs> deny it. But if you enjoyed listening to me and Bob rant and banter, then <clears throat> please like, comment, rate. I know rate isn't a thing, but still do it. Whatever. What, whatever platform you're viewing this on. on whatever you know platform you're watching this on, do it. Do it good. Uh, <laughs> if or I've already said that, uh, Bob. I am so glad my freaking <laughs> uh, stuff is off. My phone was off. <laughs> oh, yeah. Uh, well, hopefully we won't have to make another one of these videos. If we do, then oh well. Uh, 
And I hope you enjoyed the video. <laughs> Bob, I hate you. And as always, I'm not even going to say it because that's a serious video. Thank you for watching.